Hello, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. I'm on my way back home now to Thailand. Here we are at the beach as the sun goes down, eating our meal, having a beer. After spending almost nine weeks here. Now, some people have mentioned that I've not made any vlogs for a couple of weeks. Well, again, I've been ill again. Just recovering from two weeks of tonsillitis and the flu. And as you can still my voice today is not very good. Oh, I've had a, a rough time these past two weeks. So anyway, I'm in Newcastle now. On my way home. <clears throat> now, why am I in Newcastle? Because it's cheaper than catching a taxi. If I caught a taxi from Redcar to to Newcastle Airport, it was 65 quid. Well, there's my hotel up there, which is the Travel Lodge on the quayside. And I thought I'll come down for a look at Newcastle before I go back home tomorrow. So my hotel cost. £29 for the cost on the train to get here was £5 and for uh, as much as I want to eat for breakfast tomorrow 9 quid. so as you can see much cheaper than the 65 quid it would have cost just for the taxi fare here and I'm still on a bit of a holiday as well so that's why I wanted to come down here So Newcastle is just up the road from us, from Redcar. I've had some many, many, many good nights out here. So I might have one or two beers tonight before I go catch the the Metro, which is £3.50 to get to the airport tomorrow. The bed and the travel lodge is very, very comfortable. Can't complain. So I like for me I'm on a budget and I don't have to rush anywhere so that's why I've decided to come to Newcastle I mean look at that beautiful on the quayside very very beautiful so that's my trip to England over fly back to Thailand tomorrow and I can just say that the the prices of airfares have shot up dramatically like I booked my return flight with Emirates from Newcastle because of all the strikes that have been going on with the railways trying to get down to London at a sensible time I paid a little bit more and flew from Newcastle because it was only an hour away where to get to the London airport is hours away so it just made sense really to fly from Newcastle but again as you can see it's still bloody cold and I've lost my voice would I have liked to have gone back earlier yes I would I stayed here for the nine weeks for my sister for the birthday for the Christmas and New Year totally missed New Year because I was ill and this is the first time I've been out in two weeks I want a place to come out Newcastle beautiful so I follow my journey back home to Sunday Thailand I'm looking forward to it very much Can't wait to get home. I miss my wife and my family. And now it's time for me to come home. <laughs> Having a cup of coffee overlooking the river Tyne. And what a beautiful view. Coffee's very nice also. I was 
be 20 years ago since I was in Newcastle. It's beautiful. The North East people are some of the friendliest people in the whole of England. And Newcastle has got a good reputation for nightlife, entertainment. Have a look at this. This is for my friend Mark, Geordie, Geordie boy. So I said to him I'd do a little video in the tune. I hope you don't miss it too much, Mark. Found a weather spoons in, on the quayside in Newcastle, and I've got a pint of Worthingtons, one pound sixty-nine for a pint of Worthingtons. So this is my last beer in Newcastle. So the next time, Newcastle, pint of Worthingtons. So until the next time, Newcastle, well done. Weather spoons are everywhere. So here I am at Newcastle Airport now, all checked in, bags checked in, up in the departures now, and just having a walk around, have a look at the shops before we board the plane. I've got another two hours before we get on. So quite an easy trip from the hotel, 15 minute walk to the metro station, and 25 minutes on the metro, £3.90. So, much cheaper than getting a taxi from Redcar to Newcastle Airport. So, a very good night's comfortable bed in the travel lodge. A nice breakfast this morning. And here we are in Dubai Airport. This is my halfway to Thailand. Six hours, 50 minutes on a Emirates flight from Newcastle to Dubai. Just went through security now, I'm just walking up to the gate. Another two and a half hours to wait, and then I'm on my final trip down to Thailand. I think it's about six and a half hours from Dubai to Thailand. It's 12, 12.05 a.m. So just gone midnight, and it's full. So many people here. Unbelievable. But it's a nice airport, I'm not going to be buying anything because I haven't got any money for Dubai so I'll just wait until I go on the plane to get a drink and something like that because I'm not going to change any money here. Apparently everything's expensive here anyway so as, as they are in most airports. So that's my just quick check-in with Dubai airport. Catch you when I get into Thailand. Well I got to my car. Nine weeks, nine weeks of uh, being in this car park. This is just as anything. What they are, little, I have no idea. Well, very, very dirty. So I can see another video coming along. Get it nice and clean. And he had a, a puncture as well. So I've blown it up. And I'll get that sorted out. So nine weeks here. Look at the state of it. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, this is my 693 baht a night room. Two little single beds, flat screen TV, fridge, tea and coffee. Very, very basic, but air conditioned, worked a dream, lovely. Not much view to look at, but then again, I only stayed here for the night. But that's it. I'm on my final leg now, off up to Ploys Farm from here. So next time you see me, I'll be at Ploys Farm. So here I am, just left Bangkok, about an hour outside of Bangkok now, and on the road to Karat, to my wife's farm. I've just stopped in a motorway service station in England. Now we know how expensive motorway service stations are for everything. But here, petrol, same price as everywhere else, which is less than a pound a litre. And I've just got a nice cup of cappuccino coffee, a large cup, and that cost me about £1.30, £1.40. That's what I'm saying about the cheapness of living in Thailand. Even in the service stations, you don't feel ripped off. I 
what you've seen by the last little clip it's got plenty of food eateries kfc absolutely everything you want so now i've filled the car up with petrol so now i can get to to, to Karat. it's about another two hour drive from here to my wife's farm i'd suggest anybody if they're coming over here and then they have to drive anywhere or go anywhere stop a night in a hotel near the airport for less than 700 pounds about 16 quid for the night as soon as I crashed out, that was it. I was away. I was very fast asleep and I enjoyed the, the sleep. You feel refreshed when you wake up in the morning. So the roads are very, very dangerous in Thailand. So don't drive in Thailand whilst you're tired. Anyway, that's my advice. So the next stop will be my wife's farm on my trip. Now I've got to my wife's farm in Karat. A literally little four hour drive from the hotel that I stayed in Bangkok. So it was a, it's a nice pleasant feeling to be nice and warm. I say this is my wife's farm. As you can see, the rice has just been cut so ready to make some hay now with the off cuts. Oh, look at this beautiful blue skies feeling warm again which is the biggest thing that i missed in england of nine weeks just feeling freezing cold now we say we're getting everything ready to go home tomorrow so i've just been here for two days just basically recovering from jet lag because um it does take it out of you i say 24 hours basically from door to door to get into my hotel in Bangkok and from leaving the UK. So next trip is coming from my wife's farm in Karat down to Rayon and um, some garden work to do in there I'm sure as it's been not touched for nine weeks. So looking forward to get home but just the feeling of being warm <coughs> is a wonderful feeling. My tonsillitis has gone now. I'm still on my medication, making sure I take that for 10 days and that'll make me feel a lot better. But my voice is starting to come back now. And a good feeling of being back in Thailand with the warmth. So back to the masks. Many people still in Thailand are still wearing the masks. So we're back on our way now to Rayong. And of course 7-Eleven. 7 7-Eleven for breakfast and a coffee. Always good value. Top up with some petrol. But as you can see, with Thailand, it's not compulsory to wear a mask, but it's sort of everybody else is wearing a mask to go to 7-Elevens and the shopping malls and things like that. So nine weeks of not having to wear a mask, which is lovely, to now sort of not told to wear a mask, but you look different if everybody else is wearing a mask and you don't. So we're still about five hours away from home. Coffee and breakfast, burgers and things like that. So I'll catch you later. Well, here we are, back home in Rayong. So, just having a quick look around the house, because it's a little bit overgrown, but it's not as bad as what we expected for being away for almost 10 weeks. So there's a bit of work to do in the garden, but one of these is very important. What for? Because, looking for snakes, so obviously the things could stay underneath the sofa, give them a, a bash, scare anything out of it. Any long grass and things like that, snakes could have made a home in because we haven't been here for 10 weeks. So they might think it's their home now. As you can see, lots of leaves falling and snakes like leaves. So we've got quite a bit of work to do to bring the garden back to how it was. We need to trim all the hedges, but as I said, we've got another banana tree, which we're going to plant over here. We're going to start the gardening work tomorrow. 
but like stuff behind this for those people being away from the houses anywhere where a snake can hide just give it a little little bash and now we're back it actually will scare some of the snakes and that away because of noise and they don't like noise but there is two snake skins one there and then one on the floor so we've had snakes around here and what we're going to do is going to point all of these holes in so no snakes can get in here we, we pointed it all underneath the gazebo but as you can see it's, it's better than i thought it would be after 10 weeks there's a few plants have died but on the whole not too bad we're quite well well happy with what's gone on 10 weeks away and it's not too bad is this but it all starts tomorrow start putting the, the garden back right again and I'm looking forward to it there's many jobs we're going to do over there over the next few weeks we're going to paint all the, the fencing just open all the windows just to air the house out so that's our trip back to Rayong it's like five o'clock in the evening now and we're gonna go like I said in my very first video on my way back to Thailand we're gonna go have something to eat on the beach near us about five minutes drive away from us and we're gonna go have something to eat and a beer and watch the Sun go down so like I said on my video when I was coming back to Thailand me and the wife are gonna have an evening meal watching the Sun go down on the beach near our house and there is the sun going down and I'm gonna walk in the sea now for those people who follow me I live in Red Cow northeast coast of England and now it's freezing cold and you would never be able to walk on the beach Look at that. Nice and warm. This is the beach near where we live. Look at it. Beautiful. Watching the sun go down. Gonna have some Thai food. What more could he ask for? So I'm gonna do many vlogs again about living in in Thailand. And um the benefits and the costs I'm going to do a breakdown of the costs of me going to to England for the nine weeks so we're going to have some food look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful and there's the three tree beach that we stay on lovely Look at that. That's course met our local Ireland where it's got one of the top ten whitest beaches in the world. And this is just the Bay of Rayong and it comes down here. Beautiful. So happy to be back on in Rayong. I'm gonna have now some food. Say hi Ploy. Here we are at the beach as the sun goes down eating our meal having a beer so welcome back to thailand retired and living the dream me employ at the beach having our evening meal down by the beach watching the sun go down wonderful life retired and living the dream